Yes, for the television paper. Of care for each patient. 
we are also interested uh, about the uh, patient satisfaction for getting services uh, by the secondary care facilities. Uh, we are also interested in the readmission rate, which is the percentage of, uh, of people going back from the secondary care facility to the, to the primary facility. And uh, uh, this should reflect the quality of service because a higher quality of service should uh, point to a, a lower uh, uh, readmission rate. Uh, and, and of course we're interested about the market share each uh, uh, intermediary gains uh, when we have multiple uh, uh, intermediaries and they are competing. Now, uh, these KPIs are, uh, depend on, on various factors. Some of them are those listed here. First of all, uh, uh, the quality of the services uh, might affect the readmission rate. A high quality reduces readmission uh, rates. And uh, uh, a, second, a second factor is uh, the use of infrastructure. For example, we might have uh, uh, electronic medical records for the patients, we might have sensors in their rooms monitoring their status, their medical status, or we, we need an, an, automa an automated procedure uh, for the transition. So this uh, use of infrastructure affects the KPIs uh, in a way that uh, some, sometimes, it, uh, most of the times, it decreases the readmission rate which means that uh, some costs are decreased, but on the other hand, because we need to buy things in order to support the infrastructure, costs are increased. So there is a balance here on, on the cost that has to be taken into account. And uh, of course, the matching of the primary facilities to the secondary facilities affects uh, the, the, those KPIs. For example, what is, what is this matching? Who, uh, which primary fac uh, facilities send uh, patients to which secondary facility? So, if we take, for example, if we take into account uh, uh, patients' preferences on where to go, this might increase their, satisfa their satisfaction and uh, consequently it might increase their, re their admission rate of the secondary facility they are assigned to. Uh, also another example is that, uh, that shows how the KPIs are affected. When we take into account into this matching uh, some geographical constraints, then again uh, we might have reduced costs. And, and this is something we, we, we would like to have. Now, in this work, we deal with uh, the matching problem, matching the uh, primary facilities to secondary facilities. And uh, we want to do such a matching uh, aiming to reduce or to minimize the cost of the primary facilities. And at the same time, have some users or uh, patients' preferences satisfied. Now I'm going to describe you this, this uh, mathematical problem and how we have solved it. Oh, sorry, before that, before that uh, there are uh, variable ways to do this matching. Let me just uh, uh, comment on some of them. Uh, this matching could be done statically, meaning that one primary facility is assigned a uh, secondary or more than one secondary facilities and any time, uh, all, all of its patients are assigned to, to the secondary facility. On the other hand, we could have a, a dynamic uh, matching, which means that uh, the decision is made each time a new patient has to be transmitted. Or, uh, each, uh, the matching criteria might be the, uh, his, the patient's disease, depending on the disease, we choose to send him in a specific secondary care facility. In this world, we have uh, dealt with the first uh, kind of matching when we, uh, from the very beginning, we decided uh, for, uh, for all the patients of the primary facility where to send them. Now, uh, again, the 
objective is to minimize the total, the total cost of the primary facilities. So let, let's uh, have some notation here. Uh, the secondary facilities have some problems. For, uh, for example, they have a readmission rate. They can declare a readmission rate. They, they can ask for a specific cost per patient. And uh, they have a patient satisfaction index. This is a, this is a way to measure their, their patient's satisfaction for uh, getting services by them. And uh, similarly, the primary facilities have uh, various properties. For example, they have geographical constraints, meaning that uh, not all secondary facilities are appropriate uh, places to send my patients uh, due to geographical constraints. Another property is the maximum cost per patient. I cannot afford more than this value. Uh, or the maximum tolerable readmission rate. I cannot afford to send my, my, my patients to an institution, to a secondary facility that has a readmission rate very high. And lastly, the, we're interested in the minimum uh, tolerable patient satisfaction in index, uh, meaning that we don't want to send uh, our patients to institutions that uh, have, uh, have uh, announced uh, uh, lower uh, patient satisfaction indices. Now, uh, we want to minimize the total cost of all this C of M is the total cost of all primary facilities in our system uh, where this M is the matching. M1 is matching of primary facility 1, M2 is matching of primary facility 2, and so on. So, and uh, this cost is the total cost for each uh, primary facility in the system. And the constraints uh, for the problem are the following. First of all, each margin has to abide by the geographical constraints uh, denoted by the primary facilities. A second constraint is that the readmission rate of the secondary facility should be less than, than the maximum tolerable readmission rate of the primary facility. And the third, uh, the third constraint is that uh, uh, the uh, the a patient satisfaction index of the secondary uh, facility should be higher than uh, the minimum tolerable uh, uh, satisfaction index uh, denoted by the primary facility. So if, if we apply those constraints, our set of choices is eliminated to this, uh, this set M. And now uh, the, we can uh, formulate the maximize, this, this, minimization, this minimization cost problem. We need to minimize the cost again of, the, of uh, all the primary facilities uh, such that uh, the cost of each one is not more than the tolerable one. Now, uh, here we have for, for illustration reasons uh, given you a, a numerical example. Let's say we have three uh, primary facilities. On the second column we have their uh, geographical uh, constraints, meaning that, for example, the first facility, primary facility, can send uh, patients only in the three of the five secondary facilities that we have considered. And here we see the, the co in the third column the costs per patient, then the maximum readmission rates uh, that they can afford, and the minimum uh, uh, patient satisfaction rates. Again, uh, we have uh, considered five uh, secondary facilities with uh, uh, what uh, costs uh, they, they declare to have what are the readmission rates and what are the patient satisfaction indices and if we try to solve the problem without, without constraints we see that we have almost uh, uh, 30,000 different choices if we apply constraints uh, this number is eliminated to only 9 
different choices and we want the best of those nine. The best means that uh, it has the less uh, minimum cost for the whole uh, set of primary facilities. And then the matching is uh, following the first, the, the primary facility one goes to the secondary facility two, the primary facility two goes to the secondary facility two, and the, the third primary facility sends patients to secondary facility five, with uh, the total cost calculated from the formula I previously, previously showed you. Uh, this, this was the idea uh, and a uh, uh, way to model this uh, transition of care. What we are now uh, doing uh, to extend this work is that we are looking to the interactions of, of all the participants of the networks and the decisions they need to make. For example, what is the price a primary facility will accept uh, from a secondary facility, or what is the uh, uh, budget an insurance company will agree to give to the primary facility for delivering services. And uh, we, we try to model these uh, decision-making uh, processes with uh, some uh, cooperative and non-cooperative games. Everybody hopes for the coffee, but we should have one question at least.